everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel with The Sims 2. Let's play Belladonna Cove for round 8. And we are here with the Baldwin family with Miss Isabel, who has been going through a lot of things. She's not doing too well mentally. She's going a little stir-crazy, overall crazy. Isabel's daughter, Sophia had a teenage pregnancy and just had two children. Isabel herself suffered through a miscarriage a few years ago, and really she thinks that the two babies are hers. Um, she's been acting very strange over the past couple days, um, months, air quotes, um, since the twins have been born, that Marcus and Sophia have been, like, flagging. Um, they've been, you know, trying to tell her, like, no, these are your grandchildren, um, and she's just going insane, like, she thinks that they're both her, she thinks that the two babies are one baby, and that that's her baby, she, like, she's, she's just all over the place, and it doesn't make sense, but Sophia and Marcus are, you know, they don't know what to say, because, one, they're teenagers, and, just, like, they don't know what's going on, but, two, um, Isabel and their father, Benjamin, um, recently were divorced and he had two children of his own they're half siblings uh eva and um maddox midas midas um maddox i was watching urban sims and her one of her kids names is maddox um so things are just like really really crazy kind of hectic right now um it is a sadder day. Isabel is not doing too well. As you can see, her aspiration level is just so, so low. But the twins, they do need to have their diapers changed and stuff. Um, oh, he is holding him. So he's going to help take care of Bryce. Um, but Tice needs to... Oh, see, she has the... She has the flower sack. Because she's just like... She's honestly... I don't know. Oh my god. Um, and she's not, like, ugh, she's not doing so well. She's actually, if you see, Sophia's in the bathroom for quite a long time. This morning, Sophia was using the bathroom. She was taking a bath, getting ready for the day, and her mother locked her in the bathroom. And Marcus doesn't quite know yet that she's locked in, but she's starting to bang on the door, like, let me out, mom, like, I'm, like, this isn't funny anymore, and Isabel's flat out ignoring her, and, you know, tending to the twins, like, Tice's diaper needs changing, he needs a bottle, um, all of this stuff, and Marcus is, he's so confused, he's like, mom, what is going on, like, talk to me, and she's like, also ignoring him, like, all she's doing is taking care of these kids, and then turning to, like, her flower sack, and using that, too, and Marcus is like, oh my god, what's going on, and Sophia's starting to get hungry, like, it's starting to get dangerous, like, he, he's, she's not passing food over to her, and Marcus wants to talk to his sister, but, like, it's hard to hear each other through the wall, and Marcus needs to basically find a way to call the cops because this is getting ridiculous he's lo she's locked Sophia in uh, and is refusing to give the key um she's taking care of like she's just coddling the babies and like ignoring Marcus himself when he's trying to talk to his mom um and okay she's finally listening to him like He's like, Mom, you, you, Sophia is stuck in the bathroom. You locked her in. Give me the key. Let her go. Let her out. Like, we can we can talk about these things. And Isabel's like, um, Isabel's confused. She's like, um, Sophia, Sophia can't come out. Marcus is like, why? And she's like, because she, she, she can't have the babies. She keeps wanting to take my babies from me. Marcus is like, Mom, what are you talking about? Those are her babies. And she's like, she snaps at him, like, like, what do you, those are not, those are not her babies. Those are my babies. And you, like, he's laughing. He's like, mom, are you, you're, you're crazy, right? Like, are you okay? And she's like, no, you, you don't know what you're talking about. That, those are my babies. How dare you go to your room? And he's like, oh my God. So he, he's like, okay, mom, I'm gonna, he, he's like, I'll go downstairs. Like, 
uh, there has to be someone around. Like, maybe he can talk to his landlord and say, like, like, there's something wrong with my mom and I don't know what to do. Can I borrow your phone? Can I call? I need to call. And the landlord's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, no, like, sh my sister and I are in trouble. Like, we need to, we need to call the cops. And the landlord's like, hey, here. Here's my cell phone. Take my cell phone. And make the call. So, um, Marcus is like, hey, thank you so much. Like, I'll be super quick. Um, we don't really know who to call, so we call our dad. And he's at work, of course. Um, what we need to do, like, Sophia's, this is danger zone. Sophia's freaking out. Like, she's starving. She's going to die. Oh my god. Um, okay, okay, okay. What we need to do is come quickly and look up a number. Oh my gosh, try calling back when Benjamin is not at work. Is this really a time, Benjamin, for you to be at work? Oh my god, okay. Um, uh, I need to find Officer James. He needs to get his tushy over here. Um, this is, oh my god, I'm so scared. What if Sophia dies right now? Oh my god, no, 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 okay. Okay, we got it. We need to just run into the hallway because we don't want our mom to hear us saying that and hope that Sophia freaking comes. We need to tell him, like, Hello. Officer James, um, my name's Marcus Baldwin, and Officer James is like, oh, Baldwin, like, I, I think I know you, I know you guys, you were robbed recently, and, um, your mother was really freaked out, and Marcus is saying, yes, there's something wrong with my mother, she's, she is, I think she's gone insane, she has locked my sister in the bathroom, I'm pretty sure my sister is dying, um, she's holding my nephews basically hostage and she won't let them go she thinks that they're her own children please you have to come save us and he's like go kid i don't really i don't really know you but um isabel like starts calling for marcus oh my god sophia don't die honey you can do it baby Oh my god. Uh, and Officer James says, okay, we're going to be there um, as soon as we can. What you can do is is essentially wait. Um, but I think Marcus is starting to freak out. He's like, I need my landlord. Like, will the landlord come and open the bathroom for us? I think the landlord actually left. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Benjamin's here. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to make him selectable for a quick second because he needs to come up here and um, Marcus needs to tell him exactly what's going on and say, oh my god, mom's locked Sophia in the bathroom. You need to get the key back from her. And so he comes over and he argues with Sophia, well, argues with Isabel. Like, what are you doing to our daughter? What are you doing to our daughter? And Isabel's like, you need to get out of my house. You're not needed here. Um, oh my god. Like, oh my god. He's like, give me the key. Unlock her this instant. You can hear her. She's screaming. Like, she's starting to, like, she's yelling. She's dying. And they're like, she's not letting her out. So Isabel, after all of this, like, she's like, fine. She relents. She lets her out. She lets her out, and of course she wants to go straight to her kids, but she needs to eat pizza really quickly. She, like, she runs out of the house because she does not want to be anywhere near her, and, um... And Benjamin is like, you, Isabel, you need help. You need help this instant, and you need... You need mental health. You cannot live here anymore. You cannot be in charge of our children anymore. I'm going to take you to court and get full custody of my children. You can't live here. by Like, you can't. You can't be on your own like this. And she starts breaking down, sobbing. And, and it's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought she was going to die. Like, we're going to call um, Officer James and invite him over. I don't know if he's actually going to come. Oh my god, sorry. Socks. 
See, like, she's gone, she's snapped and gone insane, and, like, she has no idea what to do. Um, Officer James, like, she's, they've called the police, they know they're gonna come pick her up to go, to essentially be put in, in a holding cell for now. Um, Sophia is, like, just feeling better now, and she's gonna run upstairs and give her dad a hug. Um, she's so glad he was here and and helped to save her like she's like please like mom is mom is not okay and we like i'm worried about my babies and i'm worried about marcus and me like she can't be here anymore and right now she's in her room and what we're going to do is actually lock her in her room for now um she like I know that's like exactly what she did to you, Sophia, and that's not the best, but she honestly, she needs to be held back. She, it's so, so dangerous for all of them right now, and it's a little insane. Like, they're all, they're all feeling so insecure right now, and Sophia, oh my god, this thunder is killing me. Sophia wants to call Gavin, and like and she just sobs to him on the phone like mom has gone insane i can't stay here anymore i i need to get out i need to get out now gavin please you need to come take me and the boys and we need a place to stay asap and gavin's like i'll do i'll do what i can it's going to take some time like she's like i need to get out now like absolutely now we can go into like a rundown place for now and then figure it out as soon as we can but i need to leave right now i can't stay here and marcus marcus is going to have to move in with his dad um oh my god i can't believe we're gonna be like breaking up this family again um so okay what we're gonna do is Sophia, Sophia's like, I have to leave, like, I can't, I can't, and Gavin's like, hey, like, take, take the boys, take the boys, put the cribs in our inventory, and she's going to, I don't even think we can leave. Write a restaurant guide. Um, I don't think we can actually leave on our own. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, so what I have to do is actually do things a little backwards. I need to, um, need to essentially put, um, I need to put Is Isabel in jail. And then we can worry about moving the kids. Um, Officer James is going to come pick her up. And, and yeah, that's essentially, that's essentially what's going to happen now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, move out for a second. And I will be back shortly. Welcome back, everyone. So Isabel is officially in jail um she just got sentenced she's now in this holding cell for now i don't like some logical some logical hacks i found myself in prison never did anything wrong um but she has done something wrong and she is now officially in this cell for now until um until the hearing where you know she is she has gone insane 100 percent, she's gone insane and, um, and things are a little crazy, so I'm just gonna buy, um, the shower and toilet for her, um, it's, um, is no buenos, honestly, she is, she, oh my god, I feel so bad for her, but she is here in jail. This is her first night in jail. She um, doesn't even know any of these guys. Uh, Nathan Gavin and Jason Cleveland and her never had much of a relationship. 
I don't know if her and Marissa Cleveland had a relationship either. I thought they did. But yeah, things are really crazy right now. Oh, she's close with Anna Patel. OMG! Um, and Carlos Contender. And, oh my god, like, things are just going, things are just crazy. I, I can't believe that she's in jail right now. Beside a murderer and a, like, burglar. Uh, where's Officer James? He's also sleeping. His room is, um... This room is comfy. I actually like his space. It's uh, it's fun, even though his walls are a little a little crazy. But he it's it's all me and like manly feeling. <laughs> it is nighttime right now. Isabel is actually going to age up in three days. That's not good. I don't want her to age up. Oh my god, she has all of her <gasps> all of her child things in here. Oh no. Like she has this toy and this toy and that toy like the potty oh my god I didn't know she kept all these things it's really creepy it's actually really creepy oh my god the toilet can be emptied she can't do anything with these toys she just has them here oh my god now there's garbage here oh my god oh my god this poor thing you poor thing oh my god Jason's gonna wake up and use his bathroom and shower Drink his drinks. I know, honey. You can't clean that up. I'm sorry. It's okay. She wants to have a baby. She wants to get remarried. She wants to get a skill. She's just going insane. Aren't these empty? Oh my god. Okay. Let's go ahead and feed... Feed Jason. I also feel like he would start planning his escape. If he can. Does he have keys? Prisoner electronic tag. It can be used by others hacks to ensure they don't go wandering on community lots. Oh, right. I need one of these. I'm going to just put one on the floor. I forgot. I need one of these for Isabel because I don't want her wandering into lots when she's supposed to be here right now. Like, I, ideally, I want Isabel to be moved to the um, mental ward, but um, I feel like maybe staying here would be best for her because... She, um, she really does, ooh, she's getting naked. She really does need help, honestly, and, oh, God, I just feel bad for her. Um, I also don't know how to, still don't know how to really work this mod. It's so confusing. Um, I think we're, we're actually going to change the locks, too, real quick. So, <laughs> um, whatever Jason's been doing. Won't work no more. Um, is he able to plan his escape? Yes. Can Isabel plan her escape? Not yet. Um, right. I want him to plan his escape, but he's not... He's not really thinking about it. Him and Nathan got into a huge fight. I forgot. Um... That's, that's pretty, that's pretty great. Um, <laughs> okay, she keeps doing the same thing. Honey, let me put it down. Ooh, welfare, minus two skills, and fitness, minus 24, morale, minus one. Oh, total budget for today, 375. We get money. That's nice. Okay, stop picking it up. Oh my God, you're driving me insane. Relax. I'm going to just take it out. I'm just gonna delete it. Um, but since there is not a lot to do right now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and skip over to show you, to just place Sophia and Marcus into their respective new homes, which are going to be fairly temporary. So I will see you guys shortly. Okay, so I went through a bit of a kerfluffle because teenagers cannot actually move out. Surprise, surprise. So, <laughs> instead of both of them moving out, Marcus moving in with his father at this time, um, Gavin just kind of moved in. And, um, you know, he didn't actually really have to. We could have just 
you know, left the two of them as they are. But I actually do want Marcus to move in with his father instead. I think it makes more sense than him living with his sister right now because, you know, they're so close in age and she's she shouldn't really be raising him. He should be raised by his father and his stepmother, Chastity. Um, in that more family setting, it'll be better for him in the long run. I just have to kind of figure out how to get him to move out. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, but I'll worry about that off camera. It's been a dramatic couple of parts recently, but really, uh, things will start shaping, like, clearing up and quieting down for round nine and round ten because we're almost done this series. I can't believe it. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this series, do give this video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more as I put them out fairly regularly. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. What do you think is going to happen to Isabel? Is she going to stay in jail? Is she going to the mental ward? Will she recover at all? Will she be able to, you know, be the mom and wife she wanted to be before. Um, how do you think Sophia is going to fare raising her sons and now living with Gavin? Um, Gavin, honey, you have a lot of work cut out for you. <laughs> and let me know what you think um, Marcus is going to do. Do you think he should move in with his dad? Do you think he should stay here with his sister? I want to know all of your thoughts. I do, I do, I do. I love you guys so, so, so very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.